Global News has learned Canada's top spy, the CSIS director David Vino, has COVID-19 now and is working from home. Our Ottawa bureau chief, Mercedes Stevenson, has more on this. Mercedes, sources, I guess, telling Global News there have been a lot of concerns about workplace safety at CSIS. That's right, Donna. CSIS is the spy service responsible for monitoring threats to Canada's national security. And right now, it requires all healthy employees to work from the office. But multiple intelligence sources approached Global News to raise the alarm about some of what they say they're seeing there. The sources complained about workplace safety, citing multiple COVID-19 outbreaks at the national headquarters in Ottawa and raising concerns about how physical distancing is possible at full staffing, as well as concerns about mask wearing and safety in the headquarters. In a statement, CSIS cited sensitive intelligence work as the main reason why there isn't a work from home option for Canada's spies, saying, given our unique mandate, our national headquarters, domestic regional offices, and foreign stations remain operational during the COVID-19 pandemic. But some of Canada's spies are questioning that rationale, pointing out that similar agencies have figured out secure work-from-home setups, including CSEC, Canada Signals Agency, the RCMP, and the military. CSIS confirmed that there have been outbreaks in the headquarters, stating CSIS has experienced COVID-19 cases, including those linked to community transmission, as well as limited and contained outbreaks. Global News has also learned that 187 CSIS employees signed a mass grievance over the agency's COVID protocols and directives, complaining that they were potentially unsafe and discriminatory against single parents who are left struggling to find childcare when schools are closed and they have to come to work. CSIS says they are committed to keeping Canada safe as well as their employees, but there seems to be no plans ahead to change the current policies. Donna? Okay, Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa, thanks.